When it comes to communicating with your buyers on eBay, obviously providing a best customer experience is really, really important. But the problem with the eBay messages is like the system which they use, it is from the Windows 98 time. And the nerds like me who like to organize each and everything and have a multiple eBay store and I sell on Amazon as well, it's not really the best way to actually go each and every store and then try to reply to the customer. So there are not many automation that I can set inside the eBay store. So in this video, I want to explain you what do I use and how I effectively provide the best customer experience to my customer and they end up coming back to my store and I do get upsell a lot of time as well. So let's get started. So when it comes to eBay customer services, there are a lot of CRM that you can use and tons of them available in the market. But the one I use is called Subivi CRM actually stand for Customer Relationship Management. And the reason I use Subivi because it is first of all very simple to use it is very cost effective as well and then there are tons of automation which i will show you you can set inside the subivi so your customer will get the messages automatically if you want to upsell them something and then they will become a regular customer as well the good thing about subivi is like you can test and you can use this on a trial basis as well and by using a link inside a description they will not ask you for any kind of payment information so you don't need to attach your paypal credit or debit card as well so you get absolutely free seven day trial without having the commitment like after seven days they will charge me if you don't like it but you're gonna love it i'm gonna show you each and everything so after seven days if you are like you know a, a beginner seller then you can just go for nine dollar a month which is like literally nothing it comes around seven seven fifty pound per month and the basic one where you will be able to attach multiple stores as well and then get unlimited tickets at the same time it comes around 25 pound per month but at the end of day the time that you actually save and the excellent customer service that you will be able to provide to your customer it's completely worth the price and there are obviously as i mentioned the up sales feature where i will show you which will send the messages to your customer after they buy something which will make them a regular customer so it's completely worth the price uh once you come to the website just simply click on get started and once you get started obviously i have an account already so that's why it is showing me my email and a password right here so if you don't have it it's gonna be empty put your full name right here and then just simply click on get started so after that it will bring you to this page right here it works in many countries but in my case i am in the united kingdom so i'm just simply gonna select ebay gb as soon as you're gonna click on ebay gb it will ask you to actually sign into your ebay account just for verification process but after that it will bring you to this page right here where it will ask you to grant access to subivi.com don't worry this is completely safe you're not gonna have any like you know account suspension or any kind of these software this is approved by ebay and they just tell you that you are linking your ebay account with subivi so just simply click on agree so bb actually recommend that you use google chrome but i've been using on safari it is completely fine but to get the best experience use google chrome you can see i have actually more than one account linked up with it so if you want to add more you can just simply click on add more sources or just simply click on start saving time and it will just simply take you to the Subivi software and you're just simply going to start using it. So over here, it is very simple as well. So all of your messages, your eBay messages, you can actually divide them into multiple, multiple folders. So my open folder is empty at the moment, but the way it works is like if I go to my closed one right here and in, I have a folder called in progress as well. These are default folder. If I go to my closed folder, I see all of my messages right here. And then if the customer will message me and if I need to follow up or, you know, sometime the inquiry from the customer is still open. So sometime the customer actually their inquiry is still open so sometime customer might say oh where is my item and you do send them a tracking number and then obviously you're waiting from them to hear back you can just simply divide that into a open folder like you know you need to follow up if the conversation is ended you just simply mark it to the close folder as well it is simple as that so simple way the way the messages get organized is like once you receive 
receive the message, it's gonna be inside the conversation, it's gonna be inside the new. And then you can actually, you know, organize it as if you need to follow up or then you don't need to follow up to your customer. Simple as that. The same thing with the return as well. So you can actually manage your return from the Sabivi as well. So once you receive the return, it's gonna show up in the new. And once you, you know, provide a shipping label to your customer to send the item back, it's gonna show up in progress. And once you, you know, dealt with it, you actually process the refund. This is going to be enclosed as well. Same thing with the item now receive cases. So it's gonna be open in progress or closed. And then you can actually see all of those messages, your returns, your cases right here inside. But the reason which I use it mostly for is like the automation purposes and a lot of stuff that you can actually can't do inside the basic eBay messages system. So first of all, what you can do is set up the automation messages right here. And I have two of them set up. I don't use auto reply. I don't use out of office unless I'm on a holidays. The one I use is called order messages and I use up sale as well. The way to set them up, you just simply click on auto messages and then click on add new and then you can give them a name that doesn't really matter it can be any name you know and then subject can be anything as well here you actually set up the rule when you want this message to get delivered to customer so i have one which is two minutes after the customer actually ordered the item so you can actually make it more personalized so you do dear and then you do customer and then you can actually have the customer name you know so that will if you put that smart tag right here it will actually mention the customer name and then you can say thank you so much for and you know ordering the item and when it comes to uh, the item you can actually put that item which they order as well so for example item name i copy that tag and i can put that tag inside so thank you so much for ordering this item your order will be processed shortly so that's like my first message that i send then i send a message once i actually add a tracking number i don't like mark as a ship if you don't have an item with a tracking number you can choose one marked as a ship as well but normally i do have a tracking number so i will do let's say tracking number added so once i add the tracking number like you know if you're using uh, Royal Mail click and drop or anything like that it's gonna automatically add the tracking number to your eBay store so once that will be added then two minutes or whatever the time that you will set up right here it's gonna actually trigger a message so same thing dear customer we have shipped your item like for example you type we have shipped your item and then what you do you go down inside the order and then you can copy the order and tracking smart tag right here so you take that one and then you put that one and then once you say here is a tracking number and then you put this smart tag it's gonna just simply add that tracking number so if you always send with the royal mail you can just simply you know give them a link where they can track it as well and that's really really helpful so i have once when the customer actually placed the order to tell them like your order uh, item will be shipped and then i have after once the item will be delivered so that is normally you know i set up on two days i set up like normally five days after in the case of let's say you know the post will get delayed or anything this is where i actually same thing i call the customer with their name which is like the subivi automatically pull that data up and then i pick put the product ID right there I tell them oh this item like for example it has been delivered with this tracking ID here it is can you please leave a feedback if you have any problem feel free to get in touch all that kind of stuff as well that actually really helped to, to get me more feedback i'm actually reminding customer to leave a feedback and that's really really helpful as well the other which is automation which i really use and which really drive more sales to my ebay store it is actually called upsale so the way you set up the upsale is like same thing subject it can be anything i have this one triggered depending on a product most of the time but two days after once the item is delivered this is mostly once i sell mobile phone so i would like you know put ebay item number or sku right here you know you can actually pick up sku and you can put up right here let's say i sell a phone to the customer it's an iphone and i have a cover and a screen protector for that one i'm just simply gonna put sku number right here and I'm, again I'm, I'm just gonna be dear and then put the customer name uh right here and then you can say this was your item then add the smart tag for the tracking number and for the product id as well and then say i hope you 
your your you like your phone uh we do have a screen protector and we do have a cover for this one so if you like to place the order for that one here is the item number for that one uh and you know these really drive more sale and bring the customer back so once you're really updating your customer on every step of the way you're giving a better customer experience to your customer and that really uh build up your reputation slowly slowly so a lot of customer will actually become regular as well other thing which i i do inside the sabibi is uh, i have messages saved up as well so if you go to quick replies you can actually save up and you can obviously organize them in the terms of group as well so one i have is a tracking number in general so if the customer will open item not receive case and i have a tracking number i just have a message already i typed it here so all i have to do pick up the message from there and i send it to the customer okay well you want this is right here so you know that is your or tracking number and please check it again and then i have for you know if the customer is happy then we will we will send them or if you have any issues you know that's you can get back to me and then i have for if the customer will say something is missing and then you know sometime we send a phone and then probably forgot to place the charger inside so this is when uh this is the message we just simply pick it from here and that so you can save like a lot of messages a lot of time customer actually send you the similar similar messages again and again and that really saves up a lot of time once you have those messages save up right here which you can use them in the future so in the terms of automation all of these are uh, order messages and up sale which really helpful and then obviously anytime when you type a message and you think you're gonna use this in the future i always save them right here as well so this is the way uh it's 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 really helpful the other thing you have is called knowledge base obviously they have right inside the tutorial how to use sabivi and how to add a quick reply all that kind of stuff as well and then the notification they go to your email i have it off like i i see all the messages right here so i don't want to receive an email notification for for the same thing then you can see your store analytics right here as well that's really really helpful and that's all about it i mean that's how i really manage each and everything so if you are somebody who is looking to start ebay dropshipping and what kind of software i use for this one which is also really really cost effective click the video right here and it will take you to the uh, software called super ds this is again very cost effective and there you will be actually automate a lot of like you know order the item for the customer uh, in the terms of drop shipping so click right here that will be really helpful